Hey everybody, my name is Dallas Keeper and I was the head chef for the Santa Clara Vanguard in 2019 and I aged out in the Corps in 2017. I would have to say that one of the best things about Santa Clara is our food program. We provide meals to our members that are tasty, fresh, and also provide nutritional value. The Drum Corps activity has come a long way since the very beginning. And today, members of Drum Corps are being asked to do some pretty demanding things on the field. So it's important with meals that we satisfy that work intensity. So I'm excited to share with you a couple of side dishes that you can bring to your table this holiday season. The first is a bread stuffing, and the second is a vegan twist on creamy mashed potatoes. Let's take a look. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with our stuffing. First that we need is a loaf of bread, followed by some onions, some celery, some garlic as well. We'll also need some butter. You can choose chicken stock or vegetable stock. I'm using chicken. Two eggs, some parsley, rosemary, fresh sage, and always salt and pepper. All right, so the first step here is our bread. You're gonna want about 24 ounces of bread or a nice big loaf. Today I am using sourdough bread, but the beauty of stuffing is you can use whatever bread you like. I know some people use Italian bread, French bread, doesn't really matter. What I'm doing right now is I'm cutting the bread into one inch cubes and placing it onto a baking sheet. There are a couple different ways that you can prepare stuffing. You can do it the night before and let it sit out overnight to dry, or you can do what I'm doing by preheating your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and doing just a quick bake just to get it crispy. We wanna make sure our bread is crispy now so we don't have a soggy texture at the very end. Go ahead and take your bread and place it into the oven for about 15 minutes. While that's going, we're gonna go ahead and start with our onion and celery mixture. First thing is to bring a large pot to medium heat and we're gonna melt down one cup of butter. After that is fully melted, we're gonna go ahead and add three cups of diced onions, followed by two cups of diced celery. And we're gonna go ahead and cook this down for a total of 10 to 12 minutes and season with a little bit of salt and pepper. This is sometimes known as sweating the vegetables where you get the natural sugars out from the onions and celery. Cooking the vegetables slowly cuts out that acidity and brings a nice natural sweetness to it. And after about five minutes of stirring, we'll add about six cloves of chopped garlic. Oftentimes people add in garlic way too early, so I would make sure to wait till the five minute mark to add it in so it doesn't burn. And we'll stir this for about three more minutes until the onion, celery, and garlic are nice and fragrant. After that, go ahead and add three tablespoons of parsley, followed by one tablespoon of sage and one tablespoon of rosemary, and go ahead and give that a nice mix for a couple more minutes. After that, we're gonna go ahead and add our stock. Here I am adding one cup of chicken stock, but you can also replace it with one cup of vegetable stock if you would like. Stir that for a couple more minutes and go ahead and cut off the heat. And by this time, we should be able to take the bread out of the oven here. Go ahead and set that aside to cool for about five minutes and you'll want to preheat your oven to about 350 degrees. Transfer over your bread to a nine by 13 greased baking pan. After that, we'll add our celery, onions, and herb mixture and making sure that we are stirring, incorporating all this mixture into the pan. You can go ahead and do this in a mixing bowl beforehand if you would like, but we just want to make sure that we transfer over to a 9 by 13 baking pan at the end. After you get a nice little stir, we're going to add one and a half cups of stock mixed with two eggs. I went ahead and just mixed those both together to save some time. And we're going to finish it with one last little stir here. You can season it with a little bit more salt and pepper if you would like. Just make sure everything is all nice and coated. And we'll go ahead and toss the stuffing into the oven for about 45 to 50 minutes until it is nice and golden brown. And while that's baking, let's get started with our vegan mashed potatoes. Today you'll need a three pound bag of gold potatoes, followed by plant butter and extra virgin olive oil. You'll also need garlic. We'll use two different herbs for this, both parsley and rosemary. And don't forget the salt and pepper. So let's get started here. First, you're gonna to wanna to bring six quarts of water to a boil. And here I'm going to season my water with a little bit of salt just to get it started. And while we're waiting for the water to boil, this is the perfect opportunity to take your potatoes and cut each one of them in half. I like to cut my potatoes in half before I bring it to a boil as it cuts down the cooking time. So once your water has reached a boil, go ahead and turn down your heat a little bit as my camera starts to steam up here and gently add in your potatoes. I'd recommend taking a ladle and adding the potatoes in rather than pouring it in like I did. It just helps to prevent any water from splashing onto you. So make sure you're stirring occasionally. Go ahead and cover it with a lid and we're gonna boil these potatoes for about 15 to 18 minutes until they are nice and soft. Typically when potatoes rise to the top, you'll know that it's done, but you can always check by taking a fork and one potato out and testing it for a softness as well. We'll carefully transfer it over to a colander, strain out the potatoes and add it to our mixing bowl. 
I have the advantage of having a stand mixer, but you can also use a bowl with a potato masher as well. After mixing for a couple more minutes, we're gonna add six tablespoons of our plant or dairy-free butter and mix for about another two to three minutes. And while that's mixing, we'll take a small saucepan, bring to a medium heat. Here we'll add one third cup of olive oil, a sprig of rosemary, and three cloves of chopped garlic. We're gonna mix that in for about a minute just so the garlic is nice and fragrant. After you're done cooking, make sure you remove your sprig of rosemary and we're gonna transfer this pot over to our mixing bowl. If you're using a stand mixer like I am, just make sure you turn it off before adding in the olive oil to make sure you get all the garlic out. Start at a low speed and slowly bring it up. Here I am seasoning with a little bit of salt and pepper before I add my fresh herbs. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of parsley and about a half tablespoon of rosemary and go ahead and mix for about two to three more minutes. You can season with salt and pepper as necessary until it is nice and fluffy. Thanks again for joining me today. As always, stay safe, stay well, and happy holidays.